Hi everybody, it's me Sharon. It's been a couple of weeks, but can't promise I'd be on every week. I'm sorry. I've just been busy um, going to do another craft show. I know I said I wasn't going to do one, but uh, this one here. Uh, instead of going with baby items and uh, just hats, blankets, <clears throat> scarves, which didn't sell well at the last two shows I've had. I've gone a different route this time. And hopefully it'll work because this is a Christmas craft show. And um, hopefully um, people will be looking for Christmas items. So we'll get started because i got quite a few things I want to show. Now last year I made, last year or the year before, I made these cute little elf slippers. And they jingle. So I made a couple of sets. I made uh, one for, this is about a three-year-old child maybe, and this is for about maybe 12 months. But they're so cute, and I might make more if I get time, because I've been really, really busy. Um, what I did sell at the last show, the very first item that sold was, um, we'll call him um, a Michael doll. Because um, I don't want to use the name um, to get into any uh, copyright items, you know. But this is my little doll. Okay. And he was the very first one I sold, the last one. And I didn't have any more. And people were going, oh my, you know, don't you have any more? And I went, no, I'm sorry, just have the one. And uh, this was the second one that I That I sold. We'll call him Larry. Mike and Larry. Okay. You know. Um, then of course there's a Yoshi. Now. Uh, I thought I would do a, a, a dookie. We called them dookies. Uh, they're called um, uh, loveys. Okay. So I made a minion lovey. No pattern, just just made the shape of a minion on the top and stuck it to my little granny square. And seeing as it's going to get cool, I made some little little wrist warmers. I can't put them on because they're too small for me, but you know they're fingerless. With a thumb hole. So, and I made three sets of those. So I made that. Um, the uh, uh, stuffed Mike and Larry doll are um, from Dreamweaver. Um, the Dreamweaver site, if you just go to dreamweaver.com, um, she's there. Then I decided to make a couple of minions. Oops, you know, well, like dominion like dolls. And uh, this is uh, my own pattern. Just made this like yellow type. You know, I'm, I'm sure I've seen it somewhere, the pattern, but I just, uh, I started crocheting and voila. That's what I came up with. So, I have two of these. Now, I was at Dreamweaver's website, and she did a Ninja Turtle. And I thought, well, I'm going to try one of those, because everybody likes ninjas right now, so they're a big thing. And I made it, and the doll turned out, like, big. See? Like, that's how big it is. Which is really not big for, you know, someone to play or have it as a doll. But the thing is, is it takes so much fiber fill and yarn to make this it, you just can't sell it nobody's going to pay what it costs to make this uh to get back the cost and make a little bit for myself i would have to sell it for like twenty dollars and you know they're they're a little lifting up the other ones i sell for like twelve dollars at the at the craft sale so that i don't seem to get too much of an argument about but anything over 12 they start going hmm you know so so this one here is um I forget which guy this is. 
But I thought, you know, like it just seemed a little bit big. So I decided, excuse me for a sec. I decided to take the same pattern from Dreamweaver and make a smaller one. It's the exact same pattern. That one there uses a four ply wool yarn and a number uh, five, I want to say a five millimeter hook. So what I did was I went down to the Karen Simply Soft, which is this yarn here. I have lots of it since I bought all that yarn at uh, that tent sale. Anyway, and I used a 3.75 crochet hook. Uh, my husband made uh, the little stick things here for me. Okay, and uh, just loop them. And it, it's uh, about two thirds the size of the bigger one. And these ones here, will, I'm sure they will sell good. Again, uh, the Ninja, the pattern comes with the Ninja. So if you just go to dreamweaver.com, you'll find the pattern there. Uh, it's a free pattern. Then we made this one, and hubby made a uh, little sword See? for this guy. There's uh, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, and I always forget the other one. And again, another one with a, and a cute little turtle shell on the back. And I made these four. I actually have quite a few um, dolls or amigurumis for the sale. So uh, it is only a six foot table. So I was watching um, Claire, Bob Wilson, one, two, three. And she made these cute little pin cushions. They take me about Oh, under an hour to make. So I made three of them. And I got them like, if you flip them, then they're oops, different colors on the other side. Stuff them up with, uh, it's like two little doilies, stuff them up with uh, um, fiber fill. Doesn't take long to make. Quick, quick. Thank you, Claire. <coughs> Now, I get this thing from uh, someone named Moogly, or a place named Moogly, and uh, she did this uh, cute little elephant bookends, and I liked it so much I decided to make it. Bookends. And I thought that was so cute, but I couldn't find the book or the, you know, the, the bookends itself to, to put them on. So what you do is you make this pattern that's kind of split in half. Sometimes they're a little top heavy, depending on what, what uh, animal you use. So I went to the dollar store. You see, you just make the end, end like so, right? It gets sewn onto this pocket-like thing. See, there's a, a pocket here. In here. Um, the ones she made, huge. They were turning out like way too big. So they were for like a nine inch um, bookend. And I went to the dollar store and I, I'm looking around for bookends, couldn't find them. And I thought, well, what's the sense of spending $20, $25 on bookends? I mean, that's not going to be doing good. I can't sell them. They'd be too expensive. So I went to the dollar store and I bought <coughs> one of these it's um a picture frame picture goes in here see this glass in there and it's got a little stand on it and then what i did was oop, i just slid it over the top it's annoying to get it on because the corners are metal and they um tend to catch a bit but once you slide it on, there you go. And then you put your book in between. Like so. Of course, that's not a book. But the book goes in like so. And 
voila. Okay. So I thought that was really cute. And um, thinking of my sister, because she likes little piggies. She likes to collect them. I was making, I made a pig one, but I don't like the way the pattern turned out. It was, it just didn't look like a pig. It looked like something else. So I'm remaking it. I started it last night and I can't show you today because it's not finished. But I did see a pattern on the Lion, uh, not Lion, Red Heart website. They sent out, you know how they send out their advertisements. They sent out this pattern for a, um, a reindeer wall plaque for Christmas. And I thought, now that's really cute. And I thought, well, that's going to be too big, but if I take it down, so I, instead of using the 5mm hook, again, I used uh, Red Heart Super Saver yarn and a 3.75mm hook. And this is what I came up with. And this is what they look at, like, from the end. I put a little collar around it with bells. Now the head is from the pattern and the ears, antlers, they're all from the pattern. The base thing here is from um, Moogly's pattern. Again I used the same uh, piece from the uh, Dollarama. A little, you can find them in their picture frame section. Uh, the antlers again from the pattern and um, the only thing I changed was the neck. Now in the pattern for um, the wall plaque they have this humongous neck thing. Oops. Yeah, it just comes out. They have this humongous neck thing that goes on the back of the head and goes here. Well it stuck out about this far because of this neck thing so what I did was I just eliminated that I made a small round like collar like thing for the bottom here so that it would sit give it some substance so it wouldn't tip over like this all the time and it helps to hold it up straight I added the little collar with the bells to it and ended up with this cute this, I love this I think this reindeer just turned out so cute Thank God I don't have a lot of books because then I wouldn't want to sell it. So, and then of course I've got, you know, um, oh yeah, blankets and all. And I've been making these. Oops. Let me just set it down so I can show you. And then I've been making them. The little towels to hang in your drawers or stove or kitchen fridge handles. Uh, I've made sets of these. These I made from, I just went to the Dollarama, uh, got a towel. You buy the towel sets. There's two in a pack. Each towel I cut in half. I added the crochet thread made my little loopy thing, added a button, and ta -da. I got six pairs of two here and a set of three down here. This one came in a big set. And then, of course, like I said, I've got a couple of blankets, and I got my Elmo dolls, you know. Oh, Elmo. So. I think he's cute. He didn't sell at the last sale, but I thought, well, I'll put him out again this time and see what happens, you know. Hopefully. He's got the, his eyes make noise. Anyways, that's what I've been busy doing. I've been busy crocheting like crazy and um, ignoring my housework, unfortunately. <laughs> Any excuse. So, um... Hope you might like my little craft haul. And um, it's a week from Saturday at uh, our Canadian Corpse uh, down in 
the other part of town. So hopefully everything will sell. I'll come back. I'll let you know how I made out. Just want to say hi to everybody and I uh, hope you like my little haul. I uh, better go. It's 15 minutes here already. So everybody have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.